exciting. You know, he's a great player, he has lots of skill, and, um, uh, you know, it's, I mean, a bit unknown right now, just, you know, not having played with him, but, um, you know, we're all very excited about it, and, you know, he's a bright future, so we're looking forward to having him on board. What does he bring to this team? Uh, I gotta wait and see. I don't know, I never played with him, so, um, I mean, I, I hear he's, he's very skilled. Uh, he's skilled, he's skilled, he's a good player, he's quick, and, you know, you know I think we're all looking forward to playing with him at camp, and, um, but, uh, I mean, only time will tell. What's he going through right now after being selected? What, what kinds of emotions, what kinds of things is he experiencing right now? A lot. Uh, you know, it's, like, it's it's all very exciting for him, I'm sure. I mean, when I was drafted to Toronto, I think um, I'm, I mean, it's the best day of your life. You know, you get to come to a, a great organization and a, a great uh, you know place to live. So I think he's he's probably very excited and honored and should be. So um, it's, it's just great. Morgan, with all the talk of the Leafs potentially making a trade, there's so much going on right now at the draft with Colorado and Buffalo and all sorts of picks being traded around. Are you surprised that the Leafs at this point haven't done anything? Uh, no. I mean, we did do something. We picked, uh, you know, a great player. So, uh, you know, our team got better today. And, um, I mean, I'm not sure what they're, what they're planning or if they have anything in store. So, you know, it might be the wrong person to ask. But, you know, I'm sure they got a, a plan in place and, and they're going to follow it. So, um, I, mean, I mean, that's all that matters. I know your first year you spent time with the Marlies before you made the jump to, to the Leafs. Probably a pretty good chance. I know you're not the GM, but probably a pretty good chance with the way this team's headed that there'll be some more schooling for uh, Mitch. Uh, again, I'm not sure what's going to happen with him. Um, you know, all I know about him is that he's a, he's a good young player with a bright future, and you know, I'm not sure what their plan is. Maybe the first step in what everyone assumes is going to be a very painful, maybe a lengthy rebuild. As a young player, when you hear that, painful and lengthy, what goes through your mind? Um, uh, just willingness to do it. Uh, to play on a good team here in Toronto and um, to be the team that we want to be, it takes time. And, uh, and all the players know that and we're willing to, to you know, um, uh, just be a part of it. And, uh, you know, whether it takes two years or longer, um, who knows, but it's just a matter of, of um, just trying to commit to it and, um, and, you know, just dealing with it. What has this offseason been like for you personally as you look forward to the season ahead and all the changes that are being made? Yeah. Um, sorry, there's a pick going on. Um, um, it's, it's, been, it, it's been a bit weird with all the trade rumors and, and everything, but I think it's just a matter of, um, uh, you know, just trying to take some extra time off but you know lately I've been back in the gym trying to get ready for next year next year's you know obviously a big year for us you know we want to take some strides forward and um, you know it's about working hard in the offseason and at training camp we want to be ready to go. Have you had any kind of talks with uh, Coach Babcock yet what his expectations are for the season for you? I had one conversation with him over the phone and um, I mean he was pretty clear that he has high expectations for our team on and off the ice and I think that's important. Um, he knows what he wants and he'll tell you what he wants and I think that's great and um, you know I'm looking forward to playing for him and um, again it's all very exciting and it's, it's it's kind of a new page for us. So. Looking back at your draft and everything that you had to go through if you could give a piece of advice to Mitch Marner what would you say? I'd say just enjoy it uh, you know I mean he's probably doing a whole lot of media right now he's getting asked a lot of questions about how he feels and I think it's important that you just enjoy it and um, I mean just take it all in and um, just hang out with your family because you know that's all that matters. One of the knocks on him, and I don't know if it's really a knock, just that he's not big yet. He's, it's his size, but that doesn't really seem to be that much of a factor anymore in today's NHL. Yeah, I think the game's changed a lot over the course of the past, you know, few years. I think it's a lot more about uh, you know, uh, using your head, you know, using your skill and speed. And uh, I mean, he's got that uh, uh, going for him. So, but um, again, I'm not sure what's going to happen with him. I have never played with him, but um, he's got a bright future. And, um, you know, I'm looking forward to getting to know him.